morning, everyone. My name is Steve. Welcome to the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. I've been a keeper here for about three years, and during that time I've had the privilege of working with the primates here in Africa. I'd like to introduce you to our two troops behind me up top. We have our big male Finnegan right there, and his two females we have our older lady, she's 24, that's Jabini, and Kakena right there is five years old. Down here we have our three swamp monkeys, both of our brothers, Bakari is right here, and Orion is right behind me, and there is an unrelated female named Dee. As you can see perfectly, the colobus like to live high up in the trees, our arboreal or tree dwelling. They have this beautiful long white tail that they can use for balance. They can actually jump about 25 to 30 feet. So they have very powerful back legs. So they are perfectly suited to living high up in the jungle canopy. Our swamp monkeys here are primarily terrestrial or ground dwelling. So they spend the majority of their time foraging on the ground. Occasionally they like to uh, interact with each other, but we generally have a very stable hierarchy here at the zoo. Another reason they get along so well is their diet. You'll see our colobus enjoying their greens. They love, love, love browse. We are lucky enough here to be able to supply them fresh cut browse throughout the zoo. Uh, they have a very unique three chambered stomach, similar to a cow. We call them pseudo ruminants. That allows them to grind up that cellulose and they can actually eat a lot of greens that other primates can't. Down here, our swamps, like I said, they forage throughout the day. They are not nearly as picky. They will eat fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, you name it. And uh, so that kind of diet differentiation helps them live in relative harmony in this enclosure. Last, the deforestation, one of the primary reasons is for palm oil. Palm oil is in about 10% of US groceries. And I highly recommend you download an app it's called POI, Palm Oil Investigator. With that app, you can just scan a product. It's very simple. It'll tell you not only if there's palm oil in it, or if the palm oil is sustainable. Doing your small part will make a difference. So that's what it's all about. It's about a lot of people doing something small, that building up, and making a true difference so we can enjoy these animals for many, many years to come. Thank you.